Hi everybody, so today is going to be favorite skincare items, bath care items, basic care items, stuff you guys do not regularly see in my videos, but do make a big impact on how I look, my hygiene, all that stuff. So I wanted to actually go ahead and begin with the Clean Cauldron Beauty Elixir. Beauty, Relux, Beauty Elixir is what you make of it to be. I've heard people, um, some of my friends are using this as a healing potion um, or maybe even just a nice sort of essential oil. It does have a beautiful earthy smell to it so if you're someone who likes you know, very calming essential oil smells, you can even go ahead and use it for that. It does have about a very similar texture, if not a slightly tackier than a typical essential um, oil. Favorite bath or body care item that I don't show a ton of is the Star West Flower Waters in Rose. I have been wanting a rose water before I got this, um, gosh, for some time. What I really love about the Star West one is it does come in a glass bottle and it is pure distilled water and essential oil of rose. A lot of people will notice um, when they start um, using distilled water, a huge increase in cleansingness for that particular area that they were spraying it on. You could put this on your bed sheets, you can spray it like over the top of your head. If you take meditation classes geared towards yogis, sometimes they will use this to insinuate water if they perhaps choose to use rain or thunder um, as a meditative device. Sometimes they'll insinuate rain with this, which is also fantastic. And that's actually how I discovered rose water. I say insinuate, I meant simulate. <laughs> Anyways, you got the idea. Um, I really like the Clean Cauldron Whipped Body Butter in the shade Chocolate. Wait, no, this is a scent. <laughs> I really love Clean Cauldron Whipped Body Butter. It is so hydrating and soothing like no other. Honestly, I have very dry legs and um, I, uh, I do shower frequently because I sweat in yoga a lot. So, because um, I do um, hot flow one or two or slash two or you get the idea. But anyways, I need something that's just going to be very hydrating and doesn't beat around the bush on that. Using a typical body lotion gets me nowhere. I still feel dry, itchy, flaky, cracky, just gross. And so I really need a fantastic whipped body butter. This is one of my favorite body care indie sites. So that's chocolate. That's actually her most uh, popular scent. However, I really believe that coffee is going to be the runner up uh, popular scent. She sent me a sample of coffee and um, she also sent me Guardian and Jasmine, which I will continue to try out and will uh, review at a later date when I've gone through um, a bunch of Clean Cauldron products. So far, I love Clean Cauldron. If you saw my monthly faves, this product should be no secret to you, but I absolutely adore nature's gate completely obsessed with this for bath body soaps hands whatever's nature's gate shampoo herbal is one of my favorite ones i love the natural look of their conditioner it almost looks like you're rubbing dirt in your hair it almost feels like you're getting nowhere with the cleansiness because um, it's so pure sulfate free so you're not going to get like that bubble stuff that's actually very drying and severe for your hair so but in the long run it just gives you like very 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 natural soft hair that you don't have to add a ton of oils to just to make it look like perfect because when we use a really bad shampoo that doesn't work with our hair that only way to make it look nice is to add product but of course that doesn't mean it's healthy just because we're adding stuff to it um I also really love Nature's Gate Liquid Soap. This is the Velvet Moisture in Oatmeal. It soothes chapped skin, and which is pretty much what I'm sure this is. This wrist has always broken out from the sinks at work, like the bar water, the cleansers that are used in the bar water. I have no say in what goes in those sinks. I have to use, you know, whatever the FDA, Food Drug Health Administration wants me to put into those sinks, so I have no say in them, but they chap my skin horrifically and so I have to go back to my little you know vegan and cruelty free home and this stuff just works miracles for my hands I'm not afraid to wash my hands after the fact just love it if you want your clothes to smell like earthy goodness almost like your body just smells like you know an earth goddess 
I highly recommend seventh generation natural laundry detergent for those of you who have to wash your laundry. Oh, well, isn't that all of this? Um, first, it sorry, it fights tough stains. It's a non-toxic formula, of course. And my favorite scent is blue eucalyptus and lavender. Not only is this soothing, relaxing, but it's also got a really yummy richness to it. You can recycle the bottle. It comes in. It does 66 loads. So, wonderful, wonderful stuff. It's a plastic bottle, not tested on animals, and you can look up how to recycle info at howtorecycleinfo.com. Okay, so last item, if you saw my tea chat, um, my last items will be food, and you don't frequently see these in my videos, but they're very much a part of my videos because they're usually off to the side pre-filming um, or in between takes if I'm trying to munch, get a snack in before work, which is a lot of times the case. But I do, I have been keeping a cup of yogi tea on my workstation more often than not, um, depending, you know, if it's my time to drink it or not. I love the green tea pomegranate. I showed you this in my tea chat. I'll link in the bottom bar if you'd like to check it out. It's a lot of fun doing that type of video. I understand those of you who already follow me on Instagram and have wa and watch all my videos may already know some of that information. It's just a chance to catch up with you guys and say, hey, I'm going to be doing more of these if you guys want. Um, so I don't think I've ever really done a catch-up type video before on this channel, so I get a lot of questions like, where are you now? What are you thinking now? What are your thoughts on this brand? And so I developed tea chat for when I have something more to say. That was just my introduction. As far as snacks go, this is the last item. Somebody has to turn on the lawnmower now. Let's let's just keep it a little less serious as a YouTube video. Pop ch pop chops, pop chips, Tuscan herb veggie chips. I absolutely love this one. Um, this is my second bag. Of this one. Now, some pop chips are not vegan, so if that is a concern for you, be sure to read the label. I can't open it.